Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam and welcome to another FPV flight tutorial series video video in this series. Today we're talking about the Matty flip or a reverse power loop. Matty Stunts is the guy who kind of popularized or invented uh, this trick, this technique right here. So it's essentially a reverse power loop. So we just learned how to do the power loop. So now we're going to take that and do it in reverse. Here we are in liftoff, same setup as usual through this entire series. Um, one thing that I do want to note is that we're going to need to have a lot more up tilt. I think this is really going to help a lot to have more up tilt for this trick. So let's go to like 45 degrees up tilt um, because we're going to be doing a power loop, but we're going to be doing it backwards. So let me let me see if I can demonstrate what that's going to look like. So, uh, well, first of all, a normal power loop would be like we go through the trees and then we come back like through kind of like that, except that was a sloppy power loop, but a reverse power loop would be like we come up through here and then we go backwards through the gap again that was pretty sloppy right there now uh the way that i saw maddie stunts teaching this is that he was kind of saying to go through this gap here and then just sort of come to a halt and then come back and ooh, ooh, basically get used to flying backwards and really what you want to do is use the trees or whatever object that you're power looping around as uh, the reference or, or have a reference, a visual reference. And that really helps a lot. And then, of course, just practice, practice, practice and getting used to the timing and the feel and how it looks and stuff. Um, again, if you are just going to if you're increasing your up tilt just to try and do these types of tricks make sure you fly around a good bit and get used to the up tilt because you're going to need a lot more throttle if you have a lot more up tilt you're just going to need to um you know have your thr have a higher throttle all the time so again so like a normal power loop would be we come up through here and we can kind of use those trees uh, as a reference but then the way that I usually do this, the way that I usually do the reverse power loop is I come up over the top and I sort of, um, well, I crash there. <laughs> so, and that happens. Um, but I would come up, I come up over the top and sort of do like a front flip type of thing. And then back through the gap. So like, I can see the gap, I can see the top of the trees the whole way. And then I'm slowly, uh, increasing my throttle to catch myself from falling and to come back through there i hope that makes sense again it's kind of a thing you just sort of need to practice and it's going to feel really weird at first so again uh, you could do it like this like where you kind of go through the gap and then just sort of stop yourself and come back to get like a visual of what that's going to look like but i the way that i kind of learned it was just like if you sort of keep your reference as your as you're sort of front flipping then that can um, as long as you keep the tops of the trees in sight then you you'll you'll kind of know how close to the ground you are um, when you do this in real life i do not recommend that you do it like in such a small uh, space as i'm showing right here especially with this fence you're just asking for trouble and another thing that's going to make a difference here um, in addition to camera up tilt is going to actually be your camera uh, field of view. So like just for example here, let's go to the, um, let's go to the, uh, uh, let's go to the options here. We'll go to the, uh, I think it's graphics, graphics options. So right now we're at the maximum 120 uh, degree field of view. So like if you had less than that, you see how we're kind of zooming in. So if you had like, Oh, if you had some like, I mean, that's 50 degrees is really bad. If you had something like 90 degrees, ugh, that would also be pretty bad. And the thing, the thing about the increasing or decreasing the field of view is you'll have less fish eye. So it will look more, um, like it will, it won't look so distorted if you have a narrower field of view, but you won't be able to see as more as see, you, you, know, you won't be able to see as much if you have a narrow field of view. So here we have 90 degrees field of view. Ooh, and it's like, we're looking through a tunnel. So if we tried to do this, this trick, it could be difficult because, oh, see, we lose our reference. We lose our frame of reference so fast. Um, oh, it's just, it's so awful. So if you have a camera that has like 90 degrees, uh, field of view, you should probably change that and get a, 
a camera that has like 120 or 130 uh, degrees field of view. Uh, in any case, that's just to kind of give you an example there. So let's change this back now. So let's go back to, oh, we can actually go to 129. How about that? I didn't even know that. Can we go to 129? Oh yeah, okay. So, and then if we increase, increase it to 129, um, so now we're at like the max and that weird thing that you see at the top of the screen, I believe that's the frame or something, but it goes, it goes away when we're flying. So here we have, um, we can, we can see a lot more, but it's kind of, you can tell it's kind of distorted, but if we use that large, uh, field of view to our advantage, we can kind of, um, have more of a frame of reference for the trick that we're, we're that we're doing. But I don't, I don't, I don't usually like to have too much uh, field of view because it will make it look all fisheye distorted and stuff. So let's go ahead and change that back. Let's change it back down to 120. I think 120 is probably pretty good. And of course, you know, your results will vary depending on the act, what kind of actual camera you have. And again, we have 45 degrees up tilt. If we had less up tilt, like say, you could do it with like 30, I guess, but. You know, if we have 30 degrees of up tilt, we, whoops, okay, there we go. So let's say we come at it like this. You can, yeah, you can still do it, um, but I think it's going to be a little bit trickier because as you come through here, you're going to tend to, your quad's going to tend to level out more uh, by the time you can actually get to the bottom of the loop and see the trees. So again, it's just a matter of like, whatever however your setup is when you're trying to do this it's just going to take a lot of practice to get used to that setup that camera angle and all that kind of stuff i don't know what that was that was like a sideways and of course feel free to click that if you're watching this on youtube click that settings button to slow down the uh the video so you can watch you can watch me crash so that way you can watch the uh stick controls at the bottom center of the screen there. All right, there you go, folks. That is the Matty Flip or the reverse power loop. I hope this was helpful to you. I know it's not, not, not exactly the best reverse power looper out there, but maybe this helped you kind of figure out what you need to do or not do in order to do this trick. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. And I will see you again very soon on the next FPV tutorial.